and the fifth angel trumpeted. Oh, not again. I saw a star fall into earth from the heavens, and it had been given the key to the abyss. And lo, it opened the abyss. Smoke billowed forth from the abyss like from an oven, dimming the sun and polluting the air. Locusts spread over the earth with indescribable vigor. They were not in search of the grass on earth, nor the green of the trees, but sought out only man, man not carrying the seal of God. And lo, they were not killed, but tormented. The locusts are like horses readied for war. Their teeth are like those of lions. They wore armor like iron chain mail, and the rustle of their wings is like the rustle of many horses pulling wagons to war. In those times, men will seek death and not find it. They will want to die, but death will run hence from them because above them hovers the angel of the abyss. That's terrifying. enough silk. Hee <laughs> hee, I'll get to work. Where should I have it delivered? Mr. Bloomford's laboratory. Good. Mr. Vladic, take care of it. He still owe me. I'll be going then. Sai Jian. So Agnes is gone. If she was right and the gas was set free at her final departure, then it must have gathered somewhere up there under the ceiling. But how do we get up there? Yes! That should work. Wait, try seeing if Anselm can jump. Just point to the air above him. Wait. You still have to give him the portable gasometer before you send him up there. Very nice. Now give it the portable gasometer and up it goes. Very good. Anzon can use that to suck up the gas. Quick, steer it back closer to the middle of the beam. Otherwise it could still fall. Oh no, the poor thing. You'll have to try again. Quick, show him that he has to leap into the air. Oh no, the poor thing. You'll have to try again. Quick, steer it back closer to the middle of the beam. Otherwise it could still fall. Oh no, the poor thing. You'll have to try again. Quick, steer it back closer to the middle of the beam. Otherwise, it could still fall. Oh no, the poor thing. You'll have to try again.
Quick, show him that he has to leap into the air. Oh no, the poor thing. You'll have to try again. Quick, steer it back closer to the middle of the beam, otherwise it could still fall. Quick, show him that he has to leap into the air. Very good. Now let it suck up the gas with the portable gasometer. Good job! Now it's back to Bloomford with the gas. The balloon was just delivered. Good work, my boy. Then all we need for the moment is the gas. Have you been to the mill yet? I collected the gas. Ah, very good. We can use that to fire up the burner. Now we have the balloon and the gas. So the only thing missing is the burner, the one Greta has. She took it from me after the mill blew up. As if that had anything to do with the burner, stupid woman. And how do we get it? It's still in her chambers in the church. McCullum let that slip a while ago. Let's go. I'll be going then. Oh no. What's happening? Looks like Greta finally managed to round up all the citizens of Heaven's Hope. There's definitely no way you're going to be able to sneak into her chambers as long as there's all this hubbub going on. The drinking man does not think. The thinking man does not drink. I'm sorry. The intoxicated man loses their humanity. How piteous are those stuttering, those dim-witted dullards! How piteous are those poor blighters who reveal through their untidy appearance, through their whole being, that they are nothing but gin-soaked bombs! They speak with the dead, they fornicate with ghosts, they defile graves and defile God's creation! The licentious oak that allows himself to become intoxicated, forgetting himself completely does not deserve to go to heaven. Are you getting all of this? <sighs> you have to get the people out of the church somehow, otherwise you won't be able to enter Greta's chambers and get the burner. Hello, Bill. Well, howdy, Talarel. What can I do for you? Say, you wouldn't happen to have any alcohol, would you? Me? What? No, no way, never. That stuff's forbidden. But the innkeeper insinuated that you did. She said that you once had... Oh, that. Once upon a time. Long ago. Not anymore. Are you sure you have nothing left? No. Sorry, son. I won't say a word to Greta. All right, boy. Hate to say it, but I still can't help you. I'll even show you why.
Hey, looky here. My pride and joy. What is that? This here is my original Tennessee whiskey still. Until recently, I used to make the finest moonshine east of the Atlantic. At least, till the old pot still gave up the ghost. Can't you just connect a new pot still? I tried that, but it ain't that simple. Well, Adage got me enough copper parts, but if you're gonna replace an internal pot in a still, it's got to be an exact replica of the old one. Otherwise, the whiskey ain't gonna taste the way it did before. Hmm. Maybe I could help. So, if you can do that, then I could sure as shooting brew you up a whole mess of good hooch. But like I said, the new pot still's gotta look exactly the same as the old one standing there right beside it. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Aha! I did it! Bill, look! The still is complete. Ah, uh, that looks good, boy. Guess we'll see. Ah, uh, she's rumbling and steaming just like she did in old times. Now we're gonna have us some real old-fashioned heart warmer come winter. Come winter? Yes, in about six years. But I store a bit of what I distill so that it matures better. But I need alcohol now. Oh, well... Whiskey takes time. Of course, I can always give you some new make spirit, but that ain't everyone's taste. Booze is booze. If people are willing to drink it, then that's good enough for me. All right, partner. Let me just fill you up some of that new make. You want to take it with you? Or should I have it delivered somewheres? Could you have it delivered to the pub? Sure enough can. I'll just have Vladic, uh, or someone. Deliver it to the pub real quiet like should be there next time you're in the pub Hmm that looks a little busier now Hello. Hello, handsome. What'll it be? What do you have? How about a good single malt? Or a not-so-good one? Never mind. Alcohol? Better not. I've had some bad experiences. It certainly is full here. Isn't it great? I just hope Greta doesn't get wind of it too quickly and put an end to the fun again. Seems to be another of Greta the Inquisitor's fanatical notes. Here it says, As the Holy Mass has been subject to repeated interruption through noise in the past, I hereby decree any children playing here to be apprehended immediately and handed over to their parents. Order and decorum must be maintained inside the church. Signed, Greta. Let's see what I can do with it. Ha-ha! The church is once again as empty as it used to be. Well, now I have to go in there. The Holy Scriptures. Read them already. I shouldn't take anything from here. 
Except the burner. Except the burner. No burner there. Not here either. No burner. No burner in there. None here either. No burner in there. No burner. No burner. No burner. No burner. Ah, there's the burner. And now it's off to Bloomford before Greta catches me. There he is, the blasphemous rascal! How dare you invade my private chambers? Have you no respect for the institution of the Holy Mother Church and its Inquisition? Uh, I'm sorry, but... Sorry? What do you know about sorrow? Purgatory will show you what sorrow really means. Uh, up there. Up there? No, it's over. Your demise is not heretic. You'll be cast down, ostracized, and broken to finally teach you humility. But, um... God demands it. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes. Yes. Now it is. Where was I? I've got a very, 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 very bad feeling. Get out of here quick, Talarel. That's not good at all. Yeah, I think that's best. Get to Bloomford as quickly as you can and give him the burner. Bloomford, I found the burner. G great. Give it to me. Now we can get started. Come with me. Now we have all the parts of the aerothermal unit. We have the balloon, we have gas, and we have the burner. Great work, my boy. I'll assemble the parts now. Uh, you can see about finding a launching site. We'll need enough room. Precisely. And it must be as high as possible, so you can take off without disturbance. I have found exactly the right place. And that would be where? The steeple. We move the flying machine to Tavern Lane, let it slowly rise, and then tie it down at the top. Then you can simply hop on board. And how do we get this flying machine into Tavern Lane beside the steeple? Why, Vladich, of course. Who else? I've arranged for you to meet with him. Trot right over to the pub and somehow convince him to transport the flying machine to Tavern Lane. <laughs> This is where you hid your escape plans. Uh, I mean, your blasphemous experiments. Bloomford, we already discussed the subject of flying. Quiet, you went. Uh, I mean, constable. You can't do this to me. I have rights. You can't stop the scientific revolution. I... Snap them, constable. Throw them in jail where they belong. Oh, yes, of course. Great. Tell me, did either of you notice something really strange back there? You know, with Greta? 
Oh, who cares about that mad woman? Talarel has to get out of here as soon as possible so he can meet the... If only it were that simple. I am speechless. They really have thrown us in jail. I'm at my wit's end, lad. Tell me what we should do.